She smokes hookah all alone on a yacht in the marina. A silken sun. We're going through one of the shallowest parts of the ICW right now, Matthews Cut between McClellanville and Charleston. I have a note in my chart that we are just approaching this tricky little spot where it's supposed to be like five feet at like mid tide. We're hitting it just before high tide. Oh, I gotta turn. Um, so I'm just, my eyes keep darting from the water to the chart plotter on the iPad, back to the depth sounder, and up and down, small adjustments. Uh, but we seem to be running it fine. Uh, we did have to time this. Oh, yeah, gotta do some S turns in here. Um, but we're doing all right. Um, did a lot of homework on this. Probably a good six hours of homework on this, at least, to map this out. Did it like four or five times. I reviewed all the notes. Um, read everything that, you know, Active Captain is a community-based program here. It has all the notes, so there's hundreds of comments about coming through this area. Read them all. Favor the green side, favor the red side. Um, you have to sort of parse it and figure out exactly what the right solution is. And it um, changes. And it changes. Yeah. Um, so you have to kind of look at the currency of the commentary and check it against the charts and check it against the tie tables and all that good stuff. seem to be making it through. Yay! Plenty of water under the keel. Well, now it's dropping significantly. Um, it's not bad. I'm kind of staying right in the magenta line in this cut. Um, What's the magenta line? Yeah, the magenta line is the recommended route on the chart for the ICW. They do a decent job of sort of giving you around the shallow bits. Um, it's a good fallback if you don't really know what else to do. Um, but it's not always right. There's yeah. some um, there's some shoaling on the magenta line as well. So I'm kind of op trying to optimize my course here. We'll make it. Yep. If we don't, we'll still make it. <laughs> Somehow. That's what you get towboat US for, right? Well, towboat US is 40 mi or 35 miles away. Yeah. Um, It'd be a while. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Um, they should have one right here. Actually, in McClellansville, they should have a towboat US. Well, somebody wants to make a lot of money. You should go there. Start yeah. a towboat US franchise in McClellanville. Silken sun hat on her head Her toenails painted cherry red If her old friends could see her now they think she really hit the big time But there's no one she can phone Her old friends have all moved on She smokes hookah all alone we made it to Isle of Palms Marina where we stayed for one night. We hung out at Morgan Creek Grill right next to the marina where there was an oyster roast with live music. We got to see a beautiful sunset at low tide. We set off the next day towards Charleston, South Carolina. Promised her they'd sail the world He likes it when she calls him captain They share a love for coke and gin They cruise
use the harbor now and then But it's hard work to sail the world And staying here is so damn easy He shaves the pug down on the dock Falls in bed by 10 o'clock we tied up at the Charleston City Marina on the very long mega dock. Since we were just in Charleston sightseeing over Christmas, this stay was so that Scott could get some work done for his job and I could do some laundry and other chores. I was even able to get some workouts in on the mega dock. We stepped into the bar next to the marina and met other sailors. Before we left, I stopped at Harris Teeter, my favorite grocery store, to provision. Our time in Charleston was short and it was soon time to head to Johns Island, South Carolina. The ocean with GPS to guide you from Hilton Head to Spain. Locals say that they tried it once, but they never will. We parked Anarita at Bow Hickett Marina. Bow Hickett Marina and Market was a small resort that had many restaurants and shops. Unfortunately, most were closed for the season. We walked over to Fresh Fields Village where there was lots of shops and restaurants that were open. We had a happy hour at King Street Grill, went outside to watch the beautiful sunset. We then went over to the hotel across the way to sit in the lounge and listen to some jazz music and have a glass of wine. We spent a week on John's Island and just hung out and relaxed. We had been moving so diligently, it was time for the captain to get some rest. So what are you doing? Okay, well this is the inaugural moving of the dinghy we bought like two months ago. <laughs> In November. And yeah. the motor. It's January now. So this is our oh, cheap February now. Our cheap West Marine dinghy. Yeah. The uh, thought process behind the cheapest dinghy we could buy is that it's new, it has a warranty, and uh, for the amount of money it costs, even if it dies, even if it you know only lasts a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, dinghy three or four times as expensive is only going to last twice as long right so um in theory mm -hmm. and we'll probably destroy this one anyway so um as we did the last one right yeah so the idea was to uh invest money on the torquedo and then skimp on the dinghy and see how we like it how are you guys doing oh, good we're just launching our new dinghy yeah it's an old it's a little west marine guy it's a cheap west marine yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We'll look for you. We'll do. All right. All right. So we are going to launch it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we just met a nice couple from, from Minnesota. Yeah. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's see the torpedo in action. Oops. Did I get it right? Oh, all right. And away we go. <laughs> Here he goes. It's a lot more stable than our last one, I think. Was, you know, this one's bigger than our last dinghy, believe it or not. This one's eight feet. The last dinghy we had was just a little six footer. So this one's spacious. Not as big as everybody else has, but that's okay. This works for us. At least for now. <laughs> oh. Hey, there's some current here. Oh boy. I'll have to trick it. And we're in the dinghy. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Is it someone's private shrimp boat? <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a tiny little shrimp boat. It is, but at the but same... It's like fully geared, like a full size... Yeah. So here's the fuel bag. <laughs> we don't need it. No. No fuel needed for the dinghy anymore. Just electricity. A lot of boat to handle though. For the two of us anyway. needs a bath. While we were at Bohicket Marina, I was able to get my workouts in at the dock next to Anna Rita. The view, of course, was amazing. The Mexican restaurant by the marina was open and had a great deck to watch the sunset. There was a Harris Teeter grocery store in the Fresh Fields Village shopping area. A local we met was kind enough to come pick me up as we were unable to get an Uber, Lyft, nor taxi on the island. John's Island was fun, but it was time to move on to Beaufort, South Carolina. She smokes hookah all alone. of nights in Barcelona Lazy afternoons in Lisbon We had major engine issues on the way to Beaufort, South Carolina. We were so fortunate to have our cruising friends there to catch our lines as we slowly limped into Beaufort Downtown Marina. We were stuck in Beaufort, South Carolina for a month as Scott worked on the engine. Beaufort, South Carolina was a beautiful place to be stuck. My cruising friend Lynn and I took advantage of the situation, taking a long walk through the neighborhoods, admiring the beautiful southern homes, flowers, and churches. Another amazingly beautiful thing about Beaufort is the beautiful sunrises over the water. And unlike most places we had been, we could also see a sunset from the marina over the water. And sometimes it looked like it was on fire. The city marina was right next to a massive city park. It even had swings that overlooked the water. It was in this park that I found a place to work out with a wonderful view. Downtown Beaufort was right next to the park. There were many adorable little shops and amazing restaurants. Our local watering hole was Hemingway's where we met so many friendly locals. The marina had a courtesy car that helped us to get to the hardware store for supplies and the grocery store to provision so we could eat most of our meals on Anna Rita. We found that the tides were pretty extreme in Beaufort. Every once in a while, this cruise ship would pull in next to the city park. The cruise line offers people an opportunity to cruise in luxury down the ICW. Scott worked on the engine diligently while we were in Beaufort, and in the end, he manufactured a new choke cable bracket and replaced the carburetor after trying to fix the old one. And just like in Detour, Moyer Marine was with us through it all.
We were pretty excited when we finally got the engine fixed. Scott did an amazing job. So Scott fixed the, the engine. It's working now. It says it's never run this well. It really hasn't. It sounds really well. It's good. And we have a little new friend. I'm going to call him Stowaway Saint. A little salamander, a little lizard of some sort. Just hanging out on a power cord. Scott lived in the power cord and he got startled by this little guy. Look at him, he's so cute. We stayed for an extra week enjoying the warm weather and the beautiful Buford sights. Because we were there for a month, we actually had some friends and family stop by Buford to come visit us. It was so amazing to see them. The engine was working great and it was finally time to go and we headed off to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Evenings on the hills of Rome Breezy morning sailing home But a boat on open ocean It's just a fancy floating prison Surrounded by the endless blue with nothing else to do but smoke hookah all alone. We tied up Anna Rita in Skull Creek Marina and contacted some friends that live next to the marina. We all went out to Hudson's Seafood House on the docks to hang out. We all went back to our friend's place and sat on their porch and chatted as we watched a beautiful sunset. The next day we went to Old Fort Pub. We sat outside enjoying the beautiful weather and then went up to the Widow's Walk to take in the beautiful view. We enjoyed our time at Hilton Head, but it was time to move on to Savannah, Georgia. She smokes hookah all alone On a yacht in the marina 